ete cham shakala pumsaha krishna stu bhagavan swayam indrari vyakulam lokam mridayante yuge yuge i'm going to do one at a time you may repeat after me please ete cham shakala pumsaha कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं इंद्रारी व्याकुलम लोकम मृडयंति युगे युगे volunteers please krishna yeah ete cham shakala pum sa ete cham shakala kala pum sa krishna stu bhagavan swayam krishna stu bhagavan swayam indra nila kulam lokam कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं इंद्रारी व्याकुलोक मृडयती युगे युगे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ये कला पुंश कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं इंद्रारी व्याकुलम लोकम इंद्रारी युगे युगे Uh, what word and translation, please? Hare Krishna. Ete all these cha and amsa plenary portions kala portion of the plenary portions pumsa ha of the supreme Krishna ha Lord Krishna tu but Bhagavan the personality of Godhead Swayam. in person indrari the enemies of indra vyakulam distributed disturbed lokam all the planets rudayanti gives protection yuge yuge in different ages hare krishna thank you krishna thank you krishna thank you krishna in different ages somebody translation please hari krishna yeah all of the above mentioned incarnations are either plenary portions or portions of the plenary portions of the lord but lord shri krishna is the original personality of godhead all of them appear on planets whenever there is disturbance created by the atheist the lord incarnates to protect the theist hari krishna hari hari yeah lord incarnates to protect the theis lord krishna is the original personality of godhead so the context of this loka is remember those uh, six um, questions of the naimi sharanya sages sages right do you remember <laughs> shall we recall what the six questions are first one what is the best for the mankind aha uh-huh. what is the essence of all the scriptures yes good second one why did lord krishna uh took birth in 
Devaki and Vasudhi. Yeah, why did Lord Krishna incarnate? Mm -hmm. Yes. Third one. Um, that is third and fourth. All the we want to know all the rupa, like guna avatar, all the avatar of Lord yeah. Krishna. Purusha avataras and then Leela avataras, yes. Avatar. Then, yeah. And last last one. Uh, up about those what happens years. after after yeah, yeah. after Lord Krishna um, yeah. Yeah. Right. what happened to the Dharma after yeah. uh, where did Dharma take shelter after Lord Krishna disappeared? Yes, yeah. So those are the questions. So one of those questions are what are Leela Avataras? So after describing all the Leela Avataras, during the description or the very uh, last verse of the description of Leela Avataras is this sloka. Describing all the Leela Avataras, then uh, Sukadeva Goswami says, Krishna is the Bhagavan Swayam. Now that I have described all the Leela Avataras, but Lord Krishna is the Bhagavan Swayam from all the from whom all the avatars came from. So that's the context of this sloka. And uh, so the sloka is saying that um, Lord Krishna is the original personality of Godhead. Krishna stu Bhagavan Swayam. Krishna Bhagavan Swayam name. Krishna stu Bhagavan Swayam. He is the personality of God. Um, Supreme Personality of Godhead, from whom all those incarnations have appeared. That's the meaning of the sloka. And uh, of course, when these incarnations appear, they have a certain leela to perform. That's why they are called leela avataras. Before that, where the description of purusha avataras, where they have certain uh, function, universal function to perform. And they're kind of eternal in the sense after the material creation, that Leela, uh, that uh, Purusha avataras, they stay until the dissolution of the material creation. But these Leela avataras, they come and go, come and go, come and go multiple times during the period of this material creation. Like uh, Matsya avatara is a Leela avatara. In the Matsya Leela, the purpose is to save the Vedas, right? There, the Matsya Avatara comes during every Manmantra. There are 14 Manmantras in, during the day of Brahma. So 14 times the Matsya Avatara comes like that. Multiple times they come and go to perform the Leelas. Those are Leela Avataras. But when you take Purusha, Purusha Avataras, yeah? Uh, they come at the start of the material creation. Karnoda Kasai Vishnu, Garboda Kasai Vishnu, Shiroda Kasai Vishnu. And then material creation starts. That's it. They are not come and go. They just stay there until the material creation exists. And even after the material creation unmanifests, still these Purusha Avataras, uh, they exist. So the material creation can manifest again in cycles. So that's the difference between uh, Purusha avataras and Leela avataras. Yeah. So amongst all these Leela avataras, Krishna Leela is the prime most from which all the other av avataras come from. That's the sloka. I'll let you read the translation and uh, maybe we can discuss after each purport. If you have questions, please go ahead. In this Hare Krishna, in yes. this particular stanza, Lord Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, is distinguished from other incarnations. He is counted amongst the avatars, incarnations, because out of his causeless mercy, the Lord descends from his transcendental abode. Avataras, avatara means one who descends. All the incarnations of the Lord, including the Lord himself, descend to the different planets of the material world, as also in the different species of life to full, full, fulfill particular missions. Sometimes he comes himself and sometimes his different plenary 
portions or part of the plenary portions or his differentiated portions directly or indirectly empowered by him descend to this material world to execute certain specific functions originally the lord is full of all opulences all pro prowess all fame all beauty all knowledge and all renunciation when they are but partially manifested through the plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions it should be noted that certain manifestations of this of his different powers are required for those particular functions when in the room small electric bulbs are displayed it does not mean that the electric power house is limited by the small bulbs the same power house can supply power to operate large scale industrial dy dynamos with greater volts similarly the incarnations of the lord display limited powers because so much power is needed at that particular time right yes thank you mataj so um this is a very nice example we may think see for example when lord rama manifests here we may think he is lord ram doesn't he have the power to kill ravana <laughs> he would he just have to think he doesn't have to do anything <laughs> and then the fate of ravana would change so he is all powerful but when he comes down to perform a particular leela all his activities are to serve the purpose of his incarnation just because lord ram did not kill ravana like that instantaneously it does not mean the lord is not powerful just because he was asking the help of squirrels and monkeys it doesn't mean that he's not powerful uh, all these uh, avatars they try to meet the purpose serve the purpose of the of that particular avatar incarnation like in this example just because the power in in our house and that particular um no source uh, of light is is lighting up only a bulb in the room or a bed light it does not mean that the power house that is supplying the whole uh, city or country is limited to just lighting up that bed light no uh the purpose of that electricity at that time in that room in night is just to give a little light that's why it is serving only uh, in the form of that little light in the bed light but it has the capacity to give power to the whole city to the whole country the power house like that so leela avatars when they descend they manifest only a part of the attributes of the bhagwan bhagwan has six opulences can somebody say what the six opulences are ब्यूटी और लिटिल बिट ऑफ पावर Uh, a little bit of renunciation manifested like that mohini murti so in that uh, avatara the purpose is to uh, delude the demons asuras so the um, beauty is uh, manifested more than the other uh, opulences in narasimha avatara the power the strength is manifested more in parshurama avatara the strength is manifested more than renunciation or beauty like that so in each leela avatar one of these six qualities are exhibited to a little more or little greater extent but it is in one avatar and that all these six qualities are exhibited in fullest the beauty the renunciation the strength the power uh, and what are the other two strength the power renunciation beauty knowledge wealth ha huh? wealth quantity yeah right and opulence the wealth yes so these things are 
exhibited in, in, in fullest in, in the uh, incarnation, in the avatar of Lord Krishna, when he himself descends down. Yeah, so that's about that paragraph. And the next one is almost describing the same thing that we have discussed so far. So I'll let you read this paragraph. Too. Please go ahead, the second one. The Krishna. For example, Lord Parshuram and Lord Narsimha displayed unusual opulence by killing the disobedient Kshatriyas 21 times and killing the greatly powerful atheist Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu was so powerful that even the demigods in other planets would tremble simply by the unfavorable raising of his eyebrow. The demigods in the higher level of material existence many, many times excel the most well-to-do human beings in duration of life, beauty, wealth, paraphernalia, and all other respects. Still, they were afraid of Hiranyakashipu. Thus, we can simply imagine how powerful Hiranyakashipu was in this material world. But even Hiranyakashipu was cut into small pieces by the nails of Lord Narsimha. This means that anyone materially powerful cannot stand the strength of the Lord's nails. Similarly, Jamdagnya displayed the Lord's power to kill all the diso disobedient kings powerfully situated in their respective states. The Lord's empowered incarnation, Narada and plenary incarnation, Varaha, as well as indirectly empowered Lord Buddha created faith in the mass of people. The incarnations of Rama and Dhanvantari displayed his fame and Balarama, Mohini and Vamana exhibited his beauty. The Tatreya, Matsya, Kurma and Kapila exhibited his... Kumara and Kapila. The Tatreya, Matsya, Kumara and Kapila ex exhibited his transcendental knowledge. Nar and Narayan Rishis exhibited his renunciation. So all the different indirectly or directly empowered uh, empowered incarnations of the Lord manifested different features. But Lord Krishna, the premier Lord, exhibited the complete features of Godhead and thus it is confirmed that he is the source of all other incarnations. And the most extraordinary feature exhibited by Lord Sri Krishna was his internal energetic manifestation of his pastimes with the cowherd girls. His pastimes with the gopis are all displays of transcendental existence, bliss and knowledge, although these are manifested apparently as sex love. The specific attraction of his pastimes with, with the gopis should never be misunderstood. The Bhagavatam relates these transcendental pastimes in the 10th canto. And in order to reach the position to understand the transcendental nature of Lord Krishna's pastimes with gopis, the Bhagavatam promotes the student gradually in nine other cantos. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare. Thank you. So that's why we read Bhagavatam starting from the first canto and gradually moving on to the other cantos. Because in the first canto, we would come to know what our position is, like a speck of dust, somewhere in one of the material universes, somewhere in Bhugola, or somewhere in the material universe amongst 8,400,000 species. That is our status. That insignificant we are, the jivas. And who are we when compared to Bhagavan, who has internal energy? marginal energy and external energy and the manifestations of the internal energy and reciprocations of the internal energy with Bhagavan are the pastimes in the 10th canto. And who are we after all marginal energies, a speck of dust somewhere in the material world floating? What can we understand about the transcendental nature of those pastimes, about the reciprocations of those internal energies with the Bhagavan, pure devotees with the Bhagavan. They are past the modes. We are stuck in the modes, in the passion and ignorance. So what all we know, what all we can think of, what all we can imagine, what all we can comprehend is stuck in these modes, passion and ignorance. What can we comprehend? 
about the reciprocations that are beyond even sattva, that are in suddha sattva, vishuddha sattva. Those are the pastimes between the pure devotees, the gopis, and the Lord Bhagavan, the transcendental pastimes. So they belong to the vishuddha sattva. And they are in the 10th canto. We belong to a turbulent material modes. We are stuck in turbulent material modes. So that is why when we go chapter-wise, canto-wise in Bhagavatam, we know what our position is, how insignificant, how vulnerable, how tainted our position is. At least when we come to know how tainted our position and our thinking and understanding is, then though we don't know the nature of the 10th canto pastimes, at least we would, we would come to know that we may not be able to understand in our present uh, contaminated uh, situation of thinking. At least that part will come to know. And whenever we get purified, whenever we get past Nishta Ruchi like that, then maybe we will be able to comprehend a little bit those reciprocations. And uh, those pure devotees, when they get to the stage of bhava and prema, they enter those pastimes. Yeah. So scientifically, uh, this is all uh, um, possible. And when we start from the first canto, then gradually, when we go to the 10th canto, then we will uh, understand everything, how they are situated and how getting to that uh, realm is possible through po proper purification. Yeah, last paragraph, please. Any question? Yeah. According to Srila Jiva Goswami's statement, in accordance with authoritative sources, the Sorry. Lord Krishna is the source of all the all other incarnations. It is not that Lord Krishna has any source of incarnation. All the symptoms of the supreme truth in full are present in the person of Lord Sri Krishna. And in the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord empathetically declares that there is no truth greater than or equal to himself. In this stanza, the word Swayam is particularly mentioned to confirm that Lord Krishna has no other source than himself. Although in other places, the incarnations are described as Bhagavan because of their specific functions, now nowhere are they declared to be the Supreme Personality. In this stanza, the word Swayam signifies the super supremacy as the Samam Bhagavan. The Sammam Bonam, Krishna is one without a second. He himself has expanded himself in various parts, portions and particles as Swayam Rupa, Swayam Prakasha, Tad Ekatma, Prabhava, Prabhava, Vaibhava, Vilasa, Avatara, Avesha and Jivas all provided with innumerable energy just suitable to the respective persons and personalities. Learned scholars in transcendental subjects have carefully analyzed the Sammam Bonam Krishna to have 64 principal attributes. All the expansions and categories of the Lord possess only some uh, percentages of these attributes. But Sri Krishna is the possessor of the attributes sent person and his personal expansions such as Swayam Prakasha and Tad Ekatma up to the categories of the avatars who are all Vishnu Tattva possess up to 93% of these transcendental attributes. Lord Shiva who is neither avatara nor avesha nor in between them possesses almost 84% of the attributes. But the jivas or the individual living beings in different statuses of life possess up to the limit of 78% of the attributes. In the conditioned state of material existence, the living being possesses these attributes 
in very minute quantity varying in terms of the pious life of the living being the most perfect of living beings is brahma the supreme administrator of the, of one universe he possesses heaven 78% of the attributes in full all other demigods have the same attributes in less quantity whereas human beings possess the attributes in very minute quantity the standard perfection for a human being is to develop the attributes up to 78% in full the living being can never possess attributes like shiva vishnu or lord krishna a living being can become godly by developing the 78% transcendental attributes in fullness but he can never become a god like shiva vishnu or krishna he can become a brahma in due course the godly living beings who are all residents of the planets in the spiritual sky are eternal associates of god in different spiritual planets called hari dharma and mahesh dharma the abode of lord krishna above all spiritual planets is called krishna loka or goloka vrindavana and the perfected living being by developing 78% of the above attributes in fullness can enter the planet of krishna loka after leaving the present material body hari krishna that's awesome right nice nice explanation by shri prabhu so clear so our capacity for jiva tatva is maximum of 78% brahma has the maximum at this current time we can go up to 78% if somebody wants to become brahma but also at the same time as a jiva tatva our uh, maximum capacity is 78% even if we are entering into the spiritual realm we are fulfilling the maximum capacity of 78% and by the dint and vehicle of the internal potency we enter into the internal energy of the lord not our potency or by our capacity we only have 78% but the internal energy has to pick us up and place us in the um spiritual realm that's for us so lord krishna 100% with four distinguishing qualities what are those those are lila madhuri roopa madhuri then now uh, venu madhuri venu madhuri and roopa madhuri yeah transcendental beauty roopa madhuri venu madhuri leela madhuri all the past times with the associates of gandavan and what's the fourth one roopa venu the guna madhuri mm, the qualities roopa madhuri venu madhuri leela madhuri all the past times and reciprocations uh i i doubt if it is good i doubt it but give me a one second i'm very much tempted to check right now you can check and tell us tell us venu madhuri leela madhuri prema madhuri loving past times yeah not just simple past times leelas are there but prema madhuri because that kind of the five rasas put together including the madhuri rasa in full is very unique of lord krishna mm. so those four are very distinguishing for lord krishna and uh, um that 64 qualities right so that those are the four qualities last four qualities that are very specific for krishna rupa leela venu 
prema fourth and uh, rest of the 60 qualities are present in lord narayana and uh, um, lord shiva is that uh, 55 qualities is that right what did the what did this purport say i think lord shiva is uh, 50 is that 55 or 50 qualities Oh, it's given only in, in terms of percentage here, right? Yeah, yeah. And if I recall it well, it is uh, 55 Lord Shiva and 50 is Brahma. So maximum that we could get to is 50. That's what I can really recall. That is from Bhakti uh, Rasamrata Sindhu. It's all present there. Yeah, so that's what I recall as of now. And if there is anything different, I'll post it in the group. So those are the qualities mm. of different tattvas. Krishna tattva, Vishnu tattva, Brahma tattva, Jiva tattva, Shiva tattvas. Yeah? So I'll post it. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mataji, can we talk more about those four distinguished distinct qualities of Krishna? Maybe uh -huh, sure. references yeah. or examples. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this information is present in Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu. And maybe we can close the screen, Prabhu. Right? Uh, Kaushik, but we can stop sharing it. So I can acknowledge you. I haven't technology. I didn't know who were there. Now, Hare Krishna, and welcome to you all, please. So, yeah, those four type of uh, the four uh, distinguishing features are uh, Venu Madhuri. See, when Lord Krishna, when he sings the flute, he, first of all, his flutes are of different types. Short ones, long ones, studded with gems, specific holes. Uh, there's beautiful description of all this in Goswami's literature. A different kind, the longest one is called Venu. So different kind of flutes, different kind of tunes. And when he uses a specific tune, it is specifically meant for a, a, a specific individual. And he has so many cows and he can sing so many tunes to communicate with each different Kamadeni cow in the spiritual world. And he has different tunes for gopis also, like that. So that is the Vaibhava of the tune of, of uh, the Venu, you know, the flute of Lord Krishna. That is Venu Madhuri. And the sweetness of Venu flute song is so good, it's so astonishing that all the living beings become still. And all the non-living, still beings, they melt. That's the astonishing feature. The stone, which is non-living, starts melting when it hears the Madhuri, Venu Madhuri of Lord Krishna. And Yamuna, which is flowing, it is... It becomes still and sometimes flows backwards out of the ecstasy that it relishes coming from, you know, the ecstasy that is present when uh, relishing the song of Lord Krishna's flute. Like that. Uh, so the amazing things happen when the living entities and non-living entities, moving creatures and non-moving creatures, when they hear the sweetness of the flute song, they change their dharma. <laughs> so that's Venu Madhuri. Leela Madhuri is, he has different leelas. All leelas in those four rasas. Shantarasa, is, there is no much reciprocation. But Dasya, Sakya, um, Vatsalya and Madhurya. Uh, those, uh, those rasas are there. So the leelas based on those rasas, which are infused with those rasas, are simultaneously happening with Lord Krishna in Vrindavan. So this is the only um, personality, spiritual personality, 
where all the incarnations, uh, well, where all the pastimes infused with different rasas happen simultaneously. And that is why he is the source of all incarnations, Purna Purusha. So that's Leela Avataras performing various Leelas. And Prema Madhuri, we just have discussed, right? All those pastimes, they're filled with a lot of sweetness, a lot of sweetness. And especially the sweetness that overflows un uninterruptedly, unconditionally. That is the sweetness of the Vrajvasis and Gopis, which is uninterrupted and cannot be stopped with any um, social or Vedic dharmas also. It surpasses and flows through. Uh, breaking over the social and Vedic etiquette too. That is why the pure devotees go peace. So that is Prima Madhuri. And Rupa Madhuri, what to speak of Rupa of Shyama Sundara. Everybody is stunned in Vrindavan. Even the stones, even the creepers, the branches, the flowers, the fruits, they bend down, they bend down, just eagerly waiting to see Krishna when he passes through the grooves of Vrindavan. So the rupa of Lord Krishna is very madhuram. Sweetness personified. When the Lord wants to be a personification of sweetness, that's Lord Krishna. And what to say about his sweetness? So that's rupa madhuri. Those are the four qualities very specific for Lord Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. After we get the basics on Bhagavad Gita, after we know the pastimes, overall pastimes, and the opulence, all six opulences of Bhagavan through Bhagavatam, and after we start to live off, live life of Bhagavatam by reading Chaitanya Charitamrita and walking in the footsteps of Acharya Varga, then when we read the literature of Goswami, then the description and details of all these are present in detail. So, yeah, hopefully we are, will be qualified to hear all that Madhuri of Lord Krishna. Yes. Yeah. I'll pause there. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare. Uh, Mataji, we, we hear these words like expansions, plenary portions, avataras, avesh. Are they all same or there is a difference between there them? Is, there is slight difference, Mataji. Mm -hmm. And in Adalila of Chaitanya Charitamrita, mm -hmm description about Nityananda Prabhu, mm -hmm. there Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami describes everything in detail. So then we can go over everything, all of them, the technical details of it, and what are the slight differences between each one of them. Okay. Yeah, and that's not too far for us. I'm glad that is in Adalila only. It's not in Adalila. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in Adalila and uh, soon after the Chaitanya Tattva comes the Nityananda Tattva. So okay. I'm expecting that to be uh, sooner than later. We'll have that discussion, exclusive one, um, only on that topic. It may take a, one or two classes on that, but we'll get there soon. Okay, Mataji. Oh, yeah. Okay. If nothing. Mataji, one more yes. question. Mataji. Yes, please. Krishna totally have uh, 64 qualities, Mataji, or only four or 64, 64. Okay. Everybody, <clears throat> everything that everybody has, including uh, what Narayana has, which is 60 qualities, plus this yeah. four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he has to have, he has to have what everybody, everything else has in the universe. Otherwise, where would this come from if Krishna doesn't have? Right? Yes, yeah. 
So Vishnu has 60 and Krishna has 64 and yes. Shiva has 55 and Brahma has 15. That's what yeah, that, yes, yes. I think 55 and 50, those are the numbers for Shiva and Brahma, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So the six opulences is, is, uh, is something that Krishna Bhagavan has, not, not anyone else. Is it right now? Uh, he has in full. See, for example, Bhagavan, um, the six opulences include, you know, um, it's a beauty, um, wealth, power, uh, and renunciation, knowledge. And what's the other one, please? The last one. You can... Strength, strength Hena, yes, yeah, Mastic. strength, yeah. See, if you take the renunciation, huh? example, renunciation. Lord Narayana, he has, he has beauty, he has strength, he has power, everything. Um, but the renunciation part is, Lord Narayana is, is not like Krishna, who is a Rajuvasi, who is in a simple Vaishya family, renouncing all the opulence he has. You see, Narayana is still in Vaikuntha. He still has the opulence. So renunciation is not the fullest there. But when it comes to Krishna, he has renounced all his opulence in Vaikuntha and he's simply um, being a coward boy with such a simple life with no opulence at all. So that's renunciation. The other meaning of renunciation is he has all the qualities, but is very detached to all the qualities. He does not feel like, okay, I have all these qualities, so I am the greatest person. No, he's just detached to all the supreme qualities he has. That detachment part of it, a part that is ingrained within the supreme personality of Godhead is renunciation. See, any one of us, if we have some quality, it is very much possible that we also feel like, okay, I have, I possess that quality. That, that feeling will be there in that person. But so for Supreme Lord, it's, that feeling is absent. He's totally detached from the feeling that he possesses that particular quality. That's renunciation. So uh, Lord Krishna has the fullest of all these six um, features of Bhagavan. Yes, is that what your question is, Praveen Prabhu? I'm just trying to understand this four four distinct qualities is different and the six opulences. How how is there are different? Up there? No, they they are different, Prabhu. Okay, they are different. The the four sweet qualities are specific for Lord Krishna. And these 64 qualities, 60 qualities, they are distinguishing features of the tattva. Okay. Krishna tattva, Vishnu tattva, Shiva tattva, Brahma tattva, Jiva tattva, like that. Yeah? Okay. 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 Yeah. Of course, Brahma and Jiva tattva are the same because Jivas who are really qualified, they occupy the post of Brahma. So for this particular tattvas, these qualities are specific for those tattvas. 64 are specific for Krishna and uh, 60 for Vishnu tattva and 55 and 50 for Shiva. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. okay. Now, shall we move on to the Acharyas, please? Yes, Mataji, just share. Yeah. You can see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Today's bhajan is by <clears throat> Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur from the book Sharanagati. And there were categories. And this bhajan is under a category called bhajan lalasa. <clears throat> Ohe Vaishnava Thakur, Doyare Sagar, 
ओहे वैष्णव ठाकुर दुयारे सागर इदा से कोरुना कोरी दिया पद छाया शोधु हिया माया दिया पद तो मार चरण धोरी तो मार चरण धोरी बेगा धूमी लेट्स गो टू ट्रांसलेशन ओ वनरेबल ओ वनरेबल वनरेबल वैष्णव डिवोटी ऑफ कृष्णा ओ ओशन ऑफ मर्सी बी मर्सीफुल अनटू योर सर्वेंट give me the shade of your lotus feet purify me i hold on to your lotus feet chaya bega do me chaya dosha shodhi chaya guna devo dasi chaya bega do me chaya dosha shodhi chaya guna छाया सत संग देहु अमार संगेर आशी भूषि teach me to control my six passions rectify my six faults bestow upon me the six qualities and offer unto me the six kinds of holy association eka ki amar nahi pai bal hari naam sankirtane तुम्ही कृपा खोरी श्रद्धा बिंदु दिया तुम्ही कृपा श्रद्धा बिंदु दिया देहो कृष्ण नाम धानी देहो आई डू नॉट फाइंड द स्ट्रेंथ टू कैरी ऑन ऑल ओन द संकीर्तना ऑफ द होली नेम ऑफ हरी प्लीज ब्लेस मी बाय प्लीज ब्लेस मी बाय गिविंग मी जस्ट वन ड्रॉप ऑफ फेथ with which to obtain the great great treasure the holy name of krishna hey krishna krishna se to mar krishna di te par to mar shakti achi krishna se to mar आमी तो कंगला कृष्णा कृष्णा बोली आमी तो आई तब पाछे पाछे धाई धाई तब कृष्णा इज योर्स 
you have the power to give him to me i am simply your servant running behind you behind you shouting krishna krishna hari krishna ohi vaishnava thakur doyare sagar idase koruna kori that is what we are doing in krishna consciousness we have no strength of doing anything in bhakti on our own not chanting 16 not even chant, to chant 16 rounds or to do any service that we are given in bhakti we have no strength unless we do dhai tava pache pache unless we hanker for the shelter of the pure duty who is carrying krishna in his heart who is filled with that krishna prema why what do we have this is a beautiful song this is not only when we chant not only when we sing and not only when we do some service like nityam bhagavat sevaya we are doing nityam dai tava pache pache why like that because we are kangala we don't have krishna but pure devotee is carrying krishna with him krishna is his and only when he gives krishna to us we can experience some of that seva so the this pure devotee he is the bridge between us and krishna there's no way of getting to the other side without this bridge and this is an eternal bridge every moment all the time yeah dayara sagara dia pada chaya please give your shelter and please give all those things that are needed in bhakti chaya bega domi chaya dosha shori chaya guna deho dase and i have no strength to do this arinam to do this bhakti ekaki amara nahi paya bala i don't have strength tumi krupa karo please give me your shelter please give me your instruction and the strength to follow your instruction shrad the bindu diya give a drop of faith that you have deho krishna nama dai please give me that wealth of krishna nama shuddha nama that's why dai tava pacha pache that's why i am simply running behind you shouting krishna krishna Yeah, this is why Shri Narottam Das Thakur and all the pure devotees, they think of other pure devotees who are so much filled with Krishna. That's how they get access to Krishna and serve Krishna nicely. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you for your association. Yeah. Mm, hey to, yeah. maybe for one minute we'll take the reflection please one or two from you before we end from the bhajan any reflection for you to go hari krishna mataji hari hari really i'm so blessed and in this path mataji mm, yeah yes yeah. Um, yes the satsang um, is very helpful to me mataji yeah and yeah mataji hari hari yes we are really blessed to be talking about this beauty what immensely immensely great treasure yes mataji thank you for sharing thank you
don't you want to carry some rest of you take one jewel from the budget <laughs> before you leave don't you want to pack a jewel for you <laughs> mataji the you know about the the translation that talks about this you know holding or giving a shade of the lotus feet yeah and yes. to purify uh, you know just to get a a drop of it yes yes yeah they are fully filled with krishna and yes we are hoping to get a drop of that they are carrying yes prabhu yeah thank you thank you i want all this all this impressions to get deeper in me before i go to bed that's why i'm requesting you to please say more so i can hear more <laughs> thank you prabhu i think the other is like it's almost like visualizing you know shouting for krishna krishna you know begging mm -hmm. with your hands up and you know Mm -hmm. like, you know. yeah yes Prabhu. and uh, lord krishna he would now we are doing daita va pache pache but when we are doing service for krishna or his devotees then krishna would run after us <laughs> that that's that's even more you know we don't have to run for krishna we can uh, make lord krishna run after us if we are serving the devotees and you know yeah basically it's like when we are serving devotees we are assisting shrimati radharani she is the personification of devotional energy so lord krishna runs after shrimati radharani why because she is the personification of devotional energy and lord krishna is very much attracted with that devotional energy so when we are performing seva then that seva attracts krishna that's prabhu and that seva bhava invokes uh, submissiveness and that's when lord krishna is uh, um, attracted to us because of that seva bhava because we may be you know, asking requesting begging krishna please come i am after running after you but he may ask us okay why why do i have to come to you what do you have why should i even if you run after me why should i <laughs> why should i come to you i am seva yes i'm serving i'm serving krishna i'm serving your devotees i'm serving your holy name that's why please oh okay then i'll come to you <laughs> that that's one of the things when we hear from this mahajanas uh, that seva bhava is gets very deeper very deep into our uh, um, conscious and that reflects out as service to the holy name and devotees which naturally attracts krishna that's why hearing from pure devotees will make us do the seva properly and krishna is attracted to us and that's how he is giving krishna to us the pure devotee yeah so that's from my side if you want to pause we can pause here all right okay so shila bhakti vinay thakur ki jay samaveda bhakta vrind ki jay shila prabhu pad ki jay jay shila bhagavatam ki jay jay hari krishna hari krishna Thank you.